Hey guys, this is Eric, and today we're looking at the Lee and Lee PC D600. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty large double wide case, and it separates the components into two different sections. On this side of the case, with this acrylic window, is where you put the motherboard and graphics card, the stuff you would want to look at. And on this side of this case, you would put the hard drives and all your wires, again, the stuff you don't want to look at. And additionally, as this does, case does support a wide variety of water cooling setups, is an ideal case for intricate water cooling builds. So let's take a more detailed look now. Like most Lee Lee cases, it features an all aluminum build. So even though it is very big, it is fairly lightweight as you can see, weighing only about 9.2 kilograms or about 20 pounds. On the side of the case where the motherboard and VGA card are, there is front ventilation. And behind this ventilation are three 140 millimeter fans with fan filters. And we'll take a look at that in a second. On the other side of the case is where we have our I.O. panel. We have our power, reset, LED indicators, USB 3.0 slots, four of them, and our HD audio connections. Below that, we have a total of nine bay covers with filters on them. Now, this front bezel can be taken off completely. We can do so by removing one thumb screw at the bottom of the case, and I've already done that, and then taking the front bezel and popping it off like so. It's pretty easy to do. Now, as I said before, we do have these uh, fan filters on each of our 140 millimeter fans, and we can take them off just by popping it off like so for any maintenance or cleaning. And these front, these front covers can be taken off as well too, and they, we can see our filter here. Additionally, this entire drive rack can be taken out by removing six thumb screws and sliding it out. This adds a degree of modability and variability to a system. So let's turn the PCD600 to the side. Uh, we have this large acrylic window here so that we can see the components that we want to see on this side of the case right here. And on the other side, on the rear, we can see that we have a 120 millimeter exhaust fan. We have our eight expansion slots as well as six grommeted holes for our water cooling loops. Below that is where the standard form factor power supply would sit. And on the other side of the case is where we can fit either fans or radiators. We can put either three 120 millimeter fans here, three 140 millimeter fans, a 360 millimeter radiator, or even a 420 millimeter radiator. And on the other side right here is where we have our just brushed aluminum finish. And now this keeps with the idea of not having to look at the stuff you don't want to look at. This is the top of the chassis. And on the side of the case where the motherboard and VGA card are, there are two fan cutouts right here. It can be removed just by taking out four thumb screws. And you can either put two 120 millimeter fans or a 240 millimeter radiator here. To remove the side panel of the PCD600, simply take it from the tab right here and pull off. No tools are necessary, it just features a pop-off panel. Uh, looking on the inside, do notice that we have an all black interior and this motherboard tray supports motherboards including EATX, ATX, and Micro ATX. Also, we do have large, several large grommeted holes for all our cable management as well as tons of sp space behind the motherboard tray for all our wires. Uh, we have to support uh, cards up to 330 millimeters in length and our power supply sits on rails uh, beneath that. Additionally, we don't really have to worry about heating issues even if you're just using air cooling as we have these three 140 millimeter fans blowing directly across the chassis being uninterrupted. On this side of the chassis is where we have our drive rack. Now as we saw before, we can take this rack completely out just by removing a couple of thumb screws. Now this rack also has two hard drive cages which have a fan attached to them. Now this, uh, this cage with the fan can be ar arranged so that you have the fan at, towards the front of the chassis pulling air across or you can flip it around and have the fan facing towards the rear of the chassis. And each one of these hard drive cages can hold a total of three three and a half inch drives and two two and a half inch drives. On the bottom of the case is where you have mounts for two more two and a half inch drives. On the other side of the motherboard tray is where you have these clamps for cable management. Now do note that these clamps can be rearranged in a variety of different setups depending how you want your cable management to go. Also notice at the top of the motherboard tray, we do have tons of space for our tubing for our radiator, which brings us to the rear of the case where we can fit very, very thick radiators and push-pull setups. We've installed the main components inside the PCD600 so you get a better idea of the capabilities as well as the space of this case. 
Let's start by taking a look at the motherboard, which is an EATX motherboard. This is the ASUS Rampage uh, 4 Extreme EATX motherboard. And for the, it's red and black, and we've gone and matched the, the motherboard with these modules. Now this is the um, G-Skill Ripjaw Z 64 gigabyte kit. And you see there's eight different modules there. Uh, below that, we have a very large and powerful graphics card, the ASUS DirectCU 2780. And uh, below that, we do have a 1200 watt modular power supply, the uh, FSP Awarm Pro. Now, uh, also, we have installed a 360 millimeter radiator in this case, the SwiftTAC H320. Now, to do so, you use this large space above the motherboard tray. Using it, you can easily slide the radiator fan set, a CPU block, or cables through this space and mount the radiator to the back of the other compartment as well as put the block onto the CPU with no problems. In addition, for those enthusiasts that want to have a multiple radiator setup, they can install an additional 240 millimeter radiator set to the top of the case. We do have a lot of high-end components installed inside this case, but yet you still see there's a lot of room for further upgrades and for, uh, for further installations, as well as there's hardly any wires that you can see in this case because everything is moved to the back. And do remember that there's a window here, so the only thing you will be seeing is this are the main component. So that's basically it for this product overview and if you have any other questions about this case or any other lee in the case please do check out lee in lee's website which is www.leein-lee.com so let's check out their facebook page facebook.com slash lee in the hq all right thanks a lot guys and have a good one